Hi everyone, it's Vicki. Welcome to my channel and welcome to cleaning out my makeup stash <laughs> part one, which is mascara. I've, if you've watched my channel at all, especially on Ipsy, uh, you'll know that I have said more than one time that mascara, I love mascara. So much so that I have this much mascara. <laughs> yeah. Um, some of these are probably too old to use now. Some of these are, were already sticky or thick or whatever you call it. Um, and I just didn't throw them away <laughs> either because I like them or I wanted to use them in a video uh, talking about them. But now I don't remember if I liked them or didn't like them, you know, that kind of thing. So I have my tools to do this today. I have my box of mascara, I have a mirror, and I have wipes. So I can try them all on and see if I still want them and what I thought about them. All right, let's get started. Okay, I have somewhat clean <laughs> eyelashes. <laughs> so I'm just gonna mix them in and grab one out. And this is called um, Pure Fully Charged. I don't remember this. Let's see what kind of brush it has. Decent brush, just a normal brush. Some of those with the curves and stuff or it makes it a little goopy on my eyelashes. All right, so let's give this one a try. I'll just do one eye. Actually, it's going on fairly nice. There's a little, maybe a little bit of goop. I did get some, I am getting it on my face though. I've got some here, I've got some up here, and some right above the lash line. And let's do the bottom lash. Oh yeah, I got it all over down there. So I'm gonna say this is a very wet mascara because it's kind of getting on my skin. Let's see if it got decent eye coverage though. <laughs> what do you think? Okay, so that's fully charged by Pure. And let me just clean up that little bit that I can clean up easily. I'm not going to get the ones right at the lash line because it'd be kind of hard. Alright, so next one, I think I have two of these. I do have two of these. These are falsies, Maybelline, cheap but good usually. But I think I ended up with one of these. They're um, falsies Volume Express. I think one of them I ended up with waterproof, and that's why we got another one that wasn't. I don't like waterproof mascara. Okay, so this one seems like it might be kind of empty. Let me try this one. That's okay if they're empty. I'm good with that. Okay, this one is not empty. All right. It has a curved brush. All right, let's give it a try. For inexpensive mascara, I like this. My brush is bent. <laughs> it does a really good job of separating the lashes. Although I do have to say the lashes on this eye are a little better than the lashes on the other eye. So the other eye has, you know, you have to give a handicap to the score. <laughs> As though we were playing golf or something, bowling. Okay, yeah, and this didn't take as much to, to get it there. So, that's it. This is a drugstore brand. Alright, so that's falsies. Let me look here and see which one I like better. Falsies, for sure. Yep, and the dry falsies. Oh, well, that one seems wet now. Is this the dry one? <laughs> now they both seem okay now. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna keep the falsies for now. And I'm gonna go wipe off this mascara and try some other brands. Okay, let's reach in for another one. Okay, this is Dior Show. This is my favorite. Okay, I was gonna say, I know there's gonna be another one in here because I always order them in twos. And I think that's all I have is two of them. <laughs> all right, let's see. These might be dried out. This one's thickened for sure. I'll try this one. Yeah, this one's really thick. I think these are probably past their prime. Nice big. All right, let's just give it a try though. Yeah, it's, it's empty of mascara. I'm not getting much off of that brush. 
I don't know if it's because it's thickened or if, if it's not thickened, it's empty. This one's just a little bit wetter. Let's try this one. Yeah, it's not doing what it normally does either. Uh, I am getting some. I'm working at it hard. But yeah, it's not like it normally is. Normally goes on easy and really nicely. Yeah, this is past its prime. And time for it to, you know, it's the end of its life cycle. <laughs> And that's it when it's not in good condition. So still did a pretty good job. All right, so into the trash, these two go. I ain't throwing away the orange oh, mascara. Oh, wow. You can tell. And that one I have to like order. I can never seem to find it anywhere. So this next one is my go-to of stuff you can easily find. Hubby's out there mowing the lawn. This is, I think, one of the Man Eaters by Tarte. Yes. Man Eater by Tarte. Sometimes I have more than one because, oh, I have three. <laughs> because I forget and get a uh, waterproof, and I don't like waterproof. Okay, so one of them, this one feels heavy. These two feel, this one feels really light. This has got to be done. Oh, yeah. Done. But let me show you. I like that kind of brush where it's just straight across and I've had mascaras where it's metal like that and I like it the best. All right, so that one's going away right away. This one's heavy, like maybe still has stuff in it. This one's too thick and yucky and that one's going away. Yeah, that's real goopy. All right, let's see if this last one has any life in it. Yes, this one's doable. It doesn't have, I don't, it's not full, but it's, you know, it had a little weight and a little bit of liquidity to it. Yeah, there's not a ton in there though, I don't think. And it's uh, not like when it's brand new at all, but hey, it's doing a nice job. It's going to be a keeper. Yeah, get the edges on the tips of it. I didn't do that with the Dior Show. Yeah, the D Dior Show is like 50, 45 bucks. So it's expensive. I had a coupon or something for one of the um, department stores. I don't remember which one. And uh, I used it to order it. All right. I think the man eater looks really good. Yeah. Fairly new man eater, not real new. Uh, did as good a job as old Dior. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's see what we got next. Are these the same? No, these are not the same. I just got to make sure I don't end up with all the same. Okay, I got to take off mascara, don't I? I'll be right back. Okay, well, apparently the Dior show was the waterproof. I had a hard time getting it off now. I've irritated the skin around my eye using one of these. All right, so next I have, um, I think these are both by Tarte. I'm doing this without my glasses on. Yes, I've got this one and this one. They're both in the leathery kind of pouchy thing. I'm gonna start with this one because I know why I saved this one. It's empty. Uh, yeah, I can't get anything out of that. <laughs> I've had this a couple different times. I don't know, more than a couple really. And I've had some really good ones of it, but I also had this one. And this one for some reason was clogged up and gummy from the beginning but normally I really liked it I don't know I don't know it's pretty goopy I can try but yeah there's nothing coming out of it I used it but uh, it was a lot of work you know making it look right I had to keep doing it and I'd go get another mascara that with the and see that's another reason I keep empty mascara sometimes is I like to use the the wand of another one so Anyway, this tart's going in the garbage and normally this is good. This is called, I didn't bring my glasses. Oh. This one is called something something lashes. I can't, I actually can't read it. It's, yeah. All right, so the one in the black is called lights camera lashes. It might be the same thing. Ah uh, yes, this one's more liquidy. This 
one's nice. All right, let's give this one a try. Okay, this one makes the little flakes a little bit. I know some of the ones that are supposed to add length and stuff do that. They have the little flakes. I don't like that. But it must be popular because you see it a lot. I'm just going to do the top lashes, I think, from that one. Yeah, this is okay. It's taken a bit. It's um, clumping a little. If I was going to be wearing this out, I could fix that. It's not, you know, clumping beyond repair. <laughs> but yeah. Turn makes a good mascara. So, all right. So let's see what I can put on this eye. Okay, here's a big blue metal one. I don't think I have any more like it. Oh, what did I just find in here? Another falsies. Oh, this one looks brand new. It is. All right. I'll get rid of my two old falsies and keep that one. Yeah. So I have three falsies. Now, because I get, get those at Walgreens or something like that, I might have bought all three of them at the same time. Okay, this is heavy. This is really heavy. This is um, milk. Oh, okay. I had something the other day in my Ipsy box for milk. It says something on it. Oh, actually, no. The um, the coating came off. All right, I don't know if you can read that. It says milk on there. Let's see what it says. It's probably uh, Kush Waterproof Mascara Hydrofuge Milk Makeup. Waterproof. Oh, my least kind of, least favorite kind of mascara. And that's probably why it's still in there. <laughs> I probably never used it. Oh, it's pretty thickened. Yeah, it got a big glob on the end. It's got a big brushy brush. Really sticks out a lot. Not my favorite kind of brush. I think minimal, I tell you, I think minimal brushes work best, it, on mine at least. Okay, let's see what we're getting here. We're getting coverage. It's not, let me see. I'm gonna tell you right now, my first impression is it's not lengthening. Maybe volume, but it's not really lengthening. I'm doing the tips, trying to get a lengthen. Not really getting that. It's a uh, fairly natural looking. Yeah, not bad. I would. Uh... Yeah, it's not my favorite of the ones I've tried, but it's not bad. It's not a bad mascara. All right, I'm gonna take these off. Okay, I have to give kudos to this brand, this Kush Milk Mascara, because it's uh, waterproof, but with one of these, it came off pretty easily, much better than many of them have. All right, so let's see what's next. This is not a mascara. <laughs> There's other stuff in here other than just mascara. These two look a bit alike. All right, so next up is Just For Red Heads Mascara studio or something mascara something and when you take it off it comes with a, a brow and eyelash brush which means that the actual part for the mascara is pretty small and what was the reason I bought this is because it's not a stark black like most mascara now this is pretty messy around the tube this isn't new um, so it may have gotten a little aged sometimes I just go like this on my thing and get the ends of stuff that's like that. All right, let's see if this has enough or if it's too goopy to use. Yeah, it's kind of done. I think it's kind of used up. But I like that it's brown with a hint of red. I mean, it's more closer to what would be my natural color, but you're not, you're not gonna see this. It just doesn't have enough product left in the thing. And I think I kept it because I really did like the brush. <laughs> but going in the trash because this is what I'm out to do today is to pare down to just the workable ones that are still good and to talk about them a bit because that's one of the reasons I save them is I keep thinking I was going to do a, a mascara <laughs> video. All right, so let's go with that kind of mascara. Either, you know what, I have a sample one in here of, I thought, yes, Better Than Sex, and that's supposed to be a great mascara that people, I see it 
Okay, if I can get it open. Maybe that's why I haven't used it. Yeah, I can't get it open. I was wondering why I hadn't used this when I saw it, because I remember being excited about it. Ah, oh, there we go. It's a lot of work just to... Okay. All right, well, it must be drying out or something, because it's got a chunk on the edge. And it's just a sample size. Oh, I know where I saw this. This was in a, a Shane Dawson video where he's talking about a conspiracy that these sample sizes are better, that the mixture, the product is better than what they sell you in the big tube just to get you to buy it. I don't know if I believe that. Oh, and it's got the curved, can you tell, not curved like this way, but it's like got lots of bristles, narrows down and big bristles again. Not my favorite way to have a brush for me. A big clump of mascara on the end. I'm trying not to get on my face. Yeah, I don't think I like this mascara. No, it's a, uh, yeah. I did open it before. I remember it now. Yeah, it's, um, it's clumpy and I didn't like the brush. I wasn't impressed and I saved it. I remember now I saved it. I didn't really use much. Uh, I saved it for a video, but it's gone now. All right, so I have one more eyeball to do though. And I just want to make sure I don't get any duplicates. Oh, let's try this big blue one. This one's heavy, so I'm thinking maybe there's some product in it. It is Liquid Lash Extensions. Oh yes, by Thrive. I think this is one of those who has the little pieces in it. I'm not crazy for. I can get it out. Oh, I do like, I do like the, oh, gotta get it out of my hand, not on the, the plain brush, the, okay. Oh, this is nice. Um, it feels like it's a little bit dried, maybe a little bit, or just low on product like you know near the end of the tube not at the bottom but yeah this goes on really nice not a mess at all I did just hit my eye up here but that's me that's not the mascara yeah it's not on my eyelid nothing like that okay so let me get the edges oh yeah okay I like this I think this is nice let's get a closer look I think it's way better than... <laughs> All right, let me clean them off. I'll be right back. Okay, when I went to take them off, I could see that the Better Than Sex did a pretty good job of lengthening. I might not have given it the credit it deserved for that. All right, so the next one says BFC on it. Um, whole lot of mascara. I don't know if BFC is the brand. Oh, okay, this is pretty thickened up here. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can barely get it in and out. <laughs> it's a pretty small brush. Yeah. I'm going to put it on my good eyelashes since it's a bit of an underdog here, I think. Yeah, it's not really covering. Yeah, it's dried up. It's done. I can barely get that back in. <laughs> All right. So here's another one. Who is this? This fancy uh, okay what's it say down here it says dragon ash I think is what it says I don't I'm not quite sure whose this is I thought it was tart for a minute but okay this is pretty thickened up too it does have the kind of brush I like and this one actually has a little bit of a curve to it I'm just gonna try on the same lashes I was over here because I really didn't get anything to speak of. There's a big clump because it's goopy. Oh yeah, this is dried up too. All right, so see y'all are helping me ah, clean it. Ah, I can't get it back in. It wants to, it's, oh, it's a wiggly brush and then this is so thick, it's not going to go back in. Okay, got it in. <laughs> Probably broke off in there or something. All right, well, this poor eye over here is just not getting any love from these mascaras right now. <laughs> Alright, so let's try this one. 
I recognize this shape. Oh, it's the Mary Kay mascara. Okay. I knew I had some because a friend sells it. Okay, so it's, I thought it would uh, be goopy and old. It's not as bad. Oh, something's burning. I think there's a little too much of that rub in my eye there. Yeah, no, it's too thick. It's uh, too old. Yeah. I thought so, because it's been a while since I've ordered any from her. Quite a while. But what did go on looks pretty nice. I, I think that they have pretty nice quality from what I've used. I don't know if it's the best lengthener or thickener, but it's certainly good for a more natural, a little bit more subtle. Yeah, if you want to really bang it out, you're gonna need something like Dior Show though. All right, let me clean this eye. Okay, something has caused burning on this eye. I think it's repeated use of this, so I'm just gonna use this eye. All right, so then I got Wet n Wild Mega Wear Mascara. This, I know where this came from. I did not go to the store to buy Wet n Wild. What this is from some kind of like Christmas gift, gift exchange where there was um, a, uh, a set like a mascara, eyeshadow, a mirror or something, I don't remember. All right, so for being old, it's still pretty liquid. Let's see how it looks, let's see. Oh, it's not liquid, it's dry. <laughs> it's more of a sample size, but it's done, there's nothing there. All right, so now we have a big gold one. It looks like iconic or something, but it's not. It is Salute to the Sun Uoma. Uoma, is that right? It's a big shiny one. I don't remember this one at all. Okay, this one makes a noise like a wet mascara, like it's ready to go. And it's got the, where the brush is thicker on each end in the middle. Okay, this one, the, uh, first I was gonna say it's clumping, but I got the clumps out. No, now it's clumped again. Yeah, this one's very wet-like. Still has mascara in it, and it's, it's creating some long lashes over here. Yeah. It's doing a good job. I'm just not great with that brush. Get it off the side. All right. All these lights on in the sun outside. I look so white in that mirror. Okay, this one's coming off pretty easily. I didn't want to show you taking off all of them, but <laughs> okay. So next one is they're real oh the magnet by benefit all right let's see what it looks like oh real thick so i think it's uh old it didn't doesn't look like it had a lot in it or it got used up real fast let's see yeah still got some in it but it's i think it's past its prime it's not doing a bad job though i keep layering it if I recall, this was one of those that might have had uh, more to them, you know, like the little flex or something. Yeah, I think I like the last one better, but this isn't this isn't too bad. This is a little bit, you know, like at the bottom of it. So it's not we're it's, we're not seeing it in its prime. Let me clean my eye off. <laughs> All right, next one. This eye starting to get a little sore, a little irritated too. This is um, Item Lash Snack Lengthening Mascara, and it is a hold it this way silver tube with the blue top. I think this has the tiny little brush and I like that because that's the only way I can really do a good job on the inside and the outsides of my lashes and uh, I was gonna say I, I've been keeping this one on purpose even though it's fairly dried out yeah this isn't really a fair showing of this mascara I remember this mascara I, it was it's fine it's nice it's a nice one but it did uh, I did go through the product in this one pretty fast 
I don't know if it just wasn't in there or it took a lot, but I did go through it pretty fast. So you're not getting the length on it as before, but I saved it because I use this brush sometimes. I should probably just clean it out and just try to keep it as a brush. Let me give you a close up, even though this is kind of past its prime, so it's not really fair to the product, but it still did a pretty good job. All right, let me clean it off. So I've got two left. So those are, um, I'll do one on the left eye, one on the light, right eye, and then I can just leave it. <laughs> All right, so the first one is Iconic London. Uh, it doesn't say anything else about it. I tend to really like Iconic brand. And uh, I tend to like uh, Tarte brand as well. So, okay, this one uh, feels a little thick. And, yeah, it's it's <laughs> chunk just fell out. This one's dried up, I'm afraid. Let me try. No, this one's uh, dried up. This was good. I used it up. Yeah, we're not getting anything out of that one. Okay, so the very last one is newer it's give them lala beauty this was out of a more recent ipsy box it's uh doesn't say a lot on it just that it's a big white tube this is the one i've been using a lot lately it's nice and clean and new the only thing i would say is that it does have one of those kind of flexi brushes like that other one did that i couldn't get back in hardly so i always wear i'm going to break them off in the tube yeah this is going on nicely I'm just doing a quick job here and I'll just come to this one because I don't want to run around with mascara on one eye and I don't want to rub either eye right now. They're both kind of sore from this. I did not know that was going to happen. Okay, I'm getting this one on my lid and I'm not really touching the lid so much so it's a little bit messy there. Might be that they're wet. Ooh. So, all right, so. Let's just bring this in close so you can see the last one. <laughs> all right, so I went from all those mascaras to keeping, okay, these. That's still a lot. <laughs> and I have my new ones I haven't opened yet, but I'm not gonna open them yet, so I did it, I got it two new ones I'm keeping but I kept this one because I like the brush and it's really nice for fixing it when you have a clumpy one to have this too so I always like put this in my travel bag whatever mascara I'm using plus this one and so I just need to figure out how if anyone knows how you put you could put what you could put in there to clean out what's left in there so that you don't bring that sticky icky old product and just have the brush I mean yeah I could take the brush out but it's not very protected and it goes on your eyelashes, so I like it to be protected. So, look at that. It's like a third of what was in there at first. These four items are not mascara, but they were in there because they're eyeball stuff. Five items found another. All right, so that's it. Thanks so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know if you did, and I will clean out my uh, foundation concealer box. I have a box of that. Um, I have one of lip gloss lipsticks. I really need to do that one. Um, what else do I have? Oh, blush. I don't have a lot there. And then bronzer highlighter one. Not a lot there, but a little. Enough to probably get rid of at least an item or two. Thanks so much again for watching. Bye-bye.